Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is in the waning gibbous phase under the astrological sign of Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the message for Gemini under this waning gibbous energy? We recently also, last night, saw Mars as a planet. Um, it is also known as the Red pa Planet, and the Red Planet is about red, the color desire, passion, wands, making things happen. That's what red reminds me of. So it's time for somebody to take action. The first card that you open up with is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, your space. This person looks exasperated to me, like enough, enough is enough. Like I can't do this anymore. At, they look like they've tried up until the point of exhaustion. We know that um, these readings can be about you or the cross watcher, but someone needs to clear their energy. Their intuition has been telling them this for a very long time, but they haven't been listening. They haven't been listening, and thus, you know, they reach a point where they just can't go on anymore. And sometimes spirit forces us to sit down to. Uh, do what you're being told to do. Sometimes it comes as you not having an option to do it. You, you're you being forced to do it at some point. Because when spirit closes the door, the door is closed. Some actually need some support, some help. And you're being encouraged to ask for it at this time. And if people offer you help in any shape, form, or fashion, accept that help. Um, help comes, that's how spirit sends the help. A lot of times we pray for help. And then we don't ask or accept help when it arrives. Mm. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles reverse is about being open, sharing, um, having an interaction. You know, whatever you have that you give away, you're usually given more of it. Spirit likes when you give away things, money possessions. Yes, Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles always has a lot to give away. Um, and that's the whole cycle. The Everything that you're grateful for, everything that you do in service to help others, Spirit usually supplies you with more so that you can continue to do that. But it's not just a one-sided, it's usually give and take. So while you're doing for others, they could easily be doing for you too. And and you need it right now because you're trying to clear your energy. Spirit wants you to create this space so that he can speak with you. He wants to talk to you about loving you, knowing the importance of you, your value, your worth, maybe what you've gone through. Maybe this ex has questioned, has questioned your value, your worth, Gemini. Yeah, Gemini, you know, somebody has questioned it and, and Spirit wants you to know that you have a choice. There's another side to this equation and it starts with you. Speak, Spirit. Us loving us makes us more attractive to others because they see how good you take care of yourself. See, someone wasn't enlightened to the fact that love starts with self-love, right? Because until you love yourself, these are reverse, right? The sun, meaning nobody can see how you love you, what type of love you require, um, your how you respect yourself and value yourself, how you vibrate high, the things that you do, right? Nobody can see that if you're not loving yourself. And also, you're, you're not strengthening your foundation. When we don't love ourselves, we don't strengthen our foundation. And so, by respecting ourselves, we raise the bar, right? Letting everybody know how we feel about us, how we should be treated, um, especially when you respect others and they disrespect you. Mm. Yeah. You know, when you do nothing to them and they 
disrespect you. You definitely have to raise that bar and say, um, you know, what you're doing is not okay. It's not okay. See, once you become enlightened, you can't really settle for people that disrespect you, especially when you're not doing that to them. Yeah. And Spirit says, you know, never stoop to their level. Ooh. Yes, Moody. Yes, Spirit. You know, because a lot of times that's really the intention, the purpose of all of this disrespect is to take the focus off of you. You know, your value, your worth, what you're working on, what you're trying to accomplish, because they don't have anything going on. You know? So, um, mm. okay, Spirit, we're going to qualify. I'm just getting these cards in order because they are a hot mess. <laughs> All right. And I really am being felt that I need to use them. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is lovely. Lovely. I'm sorry, y'all, but I, I just have to get the cards in order. I'll be right with you. Right with you, feeling much better. Great. Release your ex. First card out. Okay. Yeah, release your ex. That's what you can hold. And you're going to be grateful for listening to your intuition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you you have all of your major arcanas here are reverse. Just to point out, you know, the majors rule the roost for me, controlled by Holy Spirit and not listening to your intuition makes you unaware, unawakened, unenlightened to how valuable you are, your worth, um, hmm, to the fact that you're the only one that should matter at this point. Everything else should take a back seat, Spirit just said. Okay. Okay, Spirit. What else? Qualify the High Priestess Reverse and the Three of Wands. Mm. Yeah, there could have been some waiting um, you could have been sad about things not working out. Somebody could have been sad about things not working out. This was very toxic, though. That's why the, I felt this feeling of exasperation. It was just, like, overwhelming. I can't do it anymore. Like, you've been fighting the good fight, but somebody betrayed the other. And that's what I meant about sometimes spirit closes the door. Sometimes he has them betray you because you can't. Listen to your intuition on your own. Sometimes you need assistance in closing that door. And for those of you who need assistance, you know, sometimes when we focus on others, that changes our whole perspective on what we're going through. And that's the way spirit works, um, by changing your focus, changing your priorities, your thoughts, um, get support, ask for and accept it in any shape, form or fashion that it comes from others. Also, some of us need to give away stuff. Ooh, a lot of pentacles, material things, um, give away stuff. <laughs> yes, spirit. That's exactly what I just said. And that's what he pointed out again with the seven of pentacles. You know, the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles for me are both cards of patience. Um, in one case, with the Three of Wands, you're waiting with patience and you're having um, high vibrations. Like, you're content. Like the word says, be content at any state that you're in. Well, that's the Three of Wands. Even though they're waiting, they're patiently waiting, knowing that something good is coming. Whereas the Seven of Pentacles, you're kind of waiting too, wondering should you continue or should you let this go. Um, but you're waiting with worry, you know. And so um, worry that you're going to fail. 
Worry that it's not going to come out the way you want it to. Worry that you're not going to be able to get over this ex to clear yourself of this negative, toxic energy. Yes. That's what somebody's feeling here. The Spirit's reminding you that you do have support. And um, how you can help yourself right now is by helping others. You'll be helping them, but at the same time, they're going to help you. Your answer is going to come from them. Your mind's going to be alleviated. Yes, spirit. Mm -hmm. You'll have other things to occupy your brain, the two of wands. You may still think of this person because it takes time, but the more that you spend with others, the less you'll think about them. Okay, spirit. Yeah, this is what's going to change your perspective by being around other people, by allowing spirit to work through others to uh, turn your situation around. But more importantly, <laughs> yes, spirit, tell me about self-respect. Um, it being the first passage to love is loving yourself. That's right. The first step, because... If you don't take the time to love yourself, you won't know how good it feels to be loved, Spirit just said. You know, when you love yourself in spite of everything that's going on, um, you find a sacred place between you and Holy Spirit just to nurture yourself, to value yourself in spite of everything that's going on around you. Sometimes... You know, the world takes from us and leaves us with very little. But when we do things that honor ourselves, um, the sun rises and sets in your life based on how well you honor yourself. Meaning it's going to rise and set but if you love yourself good you'll feel better with each rising and sunset but if you don't it's going to be miserable you know and others will think that they can treat you because you're you'll be with this sadness this disappointment this misery it's like you won't be able to let this go this toxicity right Spirit wants you to know you have a different perspective, a different um, decision to make, okay? Um, seven of Pentacles here means be patient and move forward. Move forward. You have a lot of Pentacles here. Um, focus on other things. Let Allow your perspective to be changed by all of the Pentacles around you. And Pentacles for me are time, money, um resources, um, foundational things, things that stabilize you, things that keep you balanced, right? In the physical world, um, how do you lift your vibration? What friends help you do that? What friends add to a positive mindset for you? Wow. Okay. Gemini, right now, love, release your ex. And, you know, sometimes, like I said, if you can't release yourself from them, sometimes God will have them do something to you. Anything to cause that break, to close that chapter, to change your focus. Yeah, this is all about change. Look at that, Five of Pentacles. Change, a foundational change regarding love. You know, the King of Cups definitely knows how to fill his own cup up. And he then is in a position to offer that cup. That's what Spirit just said to somebody else. So this is very massive change at, with the Five of Pentacles at the core to your foundation. Like I said, it's time. It's time for you to value you, love you. What else? Gemini. Yeah. Look at that. You fall out. The lovers, you have choices. You definitely have choices. And I think they're being presented to you right now. 
or at least the mindset by hanging out with friends. This is current energy. So you're being advised to do this now because you know you should have released this negative energy a while ago. What else for Gemini, Holy Spirit, final cards? We're going to keep this close to 15 minutes. Whoa. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. That's exactly what Spirit has been saying. Beware of what you are projecting, right? For the qualities you admire in another are qualities you both possess. Equally so are the qualities you dislike. Mm. And that's all about you. You know, whatever you like, yeah, you are definitely going through a transformation. Your relationship with others is about to deeper. Remember, love conquers and transforms all things, Gemini. That's the message. I hope you were able to identify. Thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed. God bless you all. And for all of you who haven't, keep listening. And until the next moon phase, Gemini, namaste.